Hello, I'm Ken with Sportsman's Warehouse and we're here today to show you how to get started and do the basics with Dutch oven cooking. Once you've seasoned your Dutch oven, then you want to make sure to get the appropriate tools you need to do the Dutch oven cooking. One thing that's really important, really nice to have is the Dutch oven table. This table you can put your Dutch ovens on, you prepare your coals, the coals go right on the table, it won't hurt the table at all, it keeps the heat away from the ground. Uh, it does come with legs as well, or you can do a tabletop if you have a heat resistant table. Uh, this is pretty much essential to Dutch oven cooking. There's definitely other ways to cook, and you can cook in ground, you can do it over the fire. Uh, we do offer a tripod with a chain for hanging over a campfire. You can do it that way, you can even do it in the fire. But the most, uh, the biggest way that most people are doing it these days seems to be on the Dutch oven table. So to get started, you want to make sure you have not only your table, but a charcoal chimney. Charcoal chimney is going to allow you to prepare your coals. Uh, to do that, you typically wad up some newspaper in the bottom of the charcoal chimney. Uh, typically you'll fill it about half full to get started, and you light the newspaper. Usually about 20, 15 to 20, maybe 25 minutes later, the coals start turning from a black to kind of a a gray color and usually when they're the gray then that's when they they're, uh, have the most heat retention and they're ready to go onto your Dutch oven to do your Dutch oven cooking. Some other useful tools is a Dutch oven lid lifter. This will allow you to lift the lid off while at the same time keeping your hand at a safe distance from the heat. This would be definitely one of our shorter ones but we do carry them uh, up to about 24 inches long. Uh, so definitely a handy item to have. Uh, we do carry Dutch oven gloves as well. If you're cons uh, worried about the heat with your hands, you can use a Dutch oven glove. Uh, once you get going there, we do carry the Kingsford briquettes. The briquettes work very well and uh, a lot of people use them and uh, we carry a big selection of them. So uh, you can get them here at Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, another thing you're going to need for sure is tongs. Because once you get your coals prepared, you're going to need to be able to use the tongs to take your coals out and put around the bottom and top of your Dutch oven. Some other handy tools, just depending on what recipe you're going to be doing, is a spatula, slotted spoon, <clears throat> regular spoon, maybe a ladle. These are going to be real handy items to have when you're doing Dutch oven cooking. Uh, some people always also use a stir stick. Uh, you can get those as well at Sportsman's. So basically to get started, if you've never done Dutch oven cooking, uh, we offer a large selection of uh, Dutch oven cookbooks, one of them being cast iron cooking for dummies. Uh, this will get you started and give you a lot of basics on how to. Uh, for the folks that are um, a little more experienced in Dutch oven cooking, we do offer uh, uh, several books as well, so you can uh, pretty much find any recipe you'd like to, like to do out of those books. Uh, usually they're loaded uh, full of them as well, and they're very informative on how many coals on top, how many on bottom, what temperature that's going to make for you, and um, usually it'll get you going out the door doing pretty, pretty good uh, Dutch oven cooking. With that, um, just want to say, once you've got your coals prepared, you're going to put typically three coals on top to one on bottom. So if you want to say do 250 to 300 degrees, you're going to end up using 10 to 15 coals. And just make sure that you always usually tip, start out, typically start out with five coals on the bottom. So you're going to do the difference on the top to make that 15. Um, again, that's going to give you about 300, 300 degrees or so. Um, and then, as I said, the Dutch oven books will also help you uh, through understanding adding more coals and what uh, temperature range that's going to give you and um, pretty much going from there. So once you pick your recipe, once you've determined what temperature you need to go at, remember the 3 to 1 rule. Figure out what temperature you're going to run it at. Prepare your coals. If you're going to cook anything over about an hour and a half, you might want to consider starting another batch of coals because that's going to be about the longevity out of those coals that you prepared on the first round. That's going to be basically it for Dutch oven cooking. Uh, just the basics on getting you started. And uh, we carry a full selection of these products at Sportsman's Warehouse, so we'd be happy to have you in um, and go through these a little further with you. Thank you.